my first time making this cake, so I'll cut it and try the taste. When making this cake, I found some difficulties, so in my tutorial, I will give you some tips to avoid it. The jelly doesn't taste sour, even though it uses lemon water. It doesn't taste too sweet, it doesn't taste sweet, it's just plain and chewy. But if you eat the jelly with the cake, you just taste the cake with a chewy texture from the jelly. And this is a nice new sensation in eating cake. No wonder why this is a new cake trend in 2020. Even it's complicated and takes time, it's worth it to try. Without any further ado, we release the island cake tutorial. First, prepare the cake. Bake the cake with a removable cake bottom pan and then open the ring. I will make the island here. I shape the bottom of the island. And I shape all sides of the cake. While carving out the cake, keep the excess cake for making the island. Make the distance of the cake with the edge of the baking tray about 1 cm. And this is my base cake. Spread a little ganache to stick the island. To make the island, crush the excess cake and mix with a little ganache or jam then shape the island with clean hands. Put the island on the ganache. And shape it as you wish. Spread ganache to the entire surface of the cake. Make the surface of the ganache uneven. Then chill in the freezer until the ganache hardens. Next, I spread the melted white chocolate unevenly. Chill again the cake in the freezer. Dilute the gelatin with cold water. Here is the receipt for the jelly. You can adjust it to your cake size. This is the gelatin with cold water. And keep stirring until it becomes like this. And then leave it for 15 minutes, then boil the water and sugar and add with lemon juice. Put the gelatin into the newly boiled sugar water. And stir again until the gelatin dissolves with water. Add blue food coloring with a toothpick. Give only one drop of food coloring with a toothpick, stir it. Look at the color. If it's still lacking in the color, you may add one more drop. I used two drops with a toothpick and it already looks pretty dark. Let jelly to room temperature. 
replace the cake ring that has been cleaned with the cake pan. Prepare a white sheet of plastic food to cover the baking pan. Make a ring of plastic according to the size of the inside of the pan and stick it with tape only the outside of the ring. For the height of the plastic ring, just as high as the top of the island. Wrap the baking pan with the plastic sheet. Duct tape around the pan to prevent jelly from coming out. Make a fold at the end of the tape. Pour only one cup of jelly and chill until hardened in the freezer. After the first layer has hardened, pour the second layer then chill again in the freezer. After the second layer has hardened, pour the remaining jelly to the bottom of the island and chill in the refrigerator overnight. Open the tape and the plastic wrap. Open the ring and help with a dull knife. Dispose of the remaining jelly and the plastic at the junction between the ring and the baking pan. Open the duct tape. And then the plastic ring. I'll move the cake to the cake base. Then I will cover the cake with a plastic sheet except for the island. Lightly brush butter on the island. Make cookie crumbs from biscuits. Crust the biscuits until smooth. Take two smaller portions of crumbs. Coloring the crumbs with dark green and light green. Then sprinkle crumbs on the island. Open the plastic Make the beach shore
draw waves in white food coloring if you have them. I use melted white chocolate and I think it will look prettier using white food coloring. This melted white chocolate will stiff quickly because the cake is cold so I have to draw quickly. Pour the remaining crumbs around the cake. Here it is, the island cake with gelatin jelly. Thank you all for watching. I'm Sally. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on my next interesting tutorial. Bye!